Hey everyone, it's Brian. Thought I'd shoot a quick video of a few cards I picked up at a small little card show here locally in our area. Um, this first card here is a uh, from the Babe Ruth collection, I guess they call it, but it's got a picture of him trying to steal second base during the World Series. He was known as uh, one of the only players to end the World Series on a stolen base. He got thrown out, obviously, but it was against my Cardinals at that time. But uh, basically, this kind of goes into the information, what surrounded his decision on doing that. He thought he'd surprise the catcher because he doesn't steal bases too often. But uh didn't quite work out that way. But anyways, I do have a small little collection of these. Um, they're basically called the Babe Ruth Collection Series. So I like to pick up those whenever I see them. And these were from the, the quarter. These all costed just 25 cents a piece. I needed some few cards to fill out my 78 set so I picked these up here there's the Expos team card and got a rookie pitchers card Dennis Lamp I guess folks might know him with the uh, Cubs there and then the last card here for 25 cents was a uh, Frank White card with the Royals he had a pretty good career with them as well but those three I picked up a quarter a piece in the uh, box there to kind of help out with my 78 set Next one here was one of the kid, Ken Griffey, Tops Gold. And this is the back of it there to 93. And uh, picked that up for, I think that was a dollar. Not much at all. And this one here is the one I paid the most for. I paid 15 for this. But uh, it's a rookie card for Clemens. Thought it was pretty well centered, very clean. Both sides, sharp, sharp corners as well. And then this one here was in the quarter box as well. This was just an old picture of McGuire in his USC days. Done by Patini, Panini Contenders. Old school colors. But uh, basically talks about a few of his stats there. University of Southern Cal. And then these next few cards I picked up for my PC. I got the uh, Dylan Carlson. This is his Bowman rookie basically. And uh, it's the back of it. Obviously there's no stats on it for that and then this one here is considered a rookie card maybe I'm not sure but uh, this is the uh, Topps Chrome real nice card there I like that back this has got his minor league stats on it and then here's one they it is labeled as the rookie card and this is uh, the base tops rookie card and again with some stats there on his back on his minor league major league and then these next two cards, I just like the, like the looks of them. This is the Prism set here. Now on deck card. And that's the back of that one there. And this last one, I really like the colors on this one here. It's basically the Bowman Scouts. And again, it's a rookie card, top 100. Listing him at uh, number 18 on the list there. And this kind of goes into how he got picked up by the Cardinals and drafted. And a of course, I had to get some more Cardinal cards. I got the Jack Flaherty Inception, Tops Inception card. And I'm hoping he comes back here in next week or so. We need some pitching on our Cardinals teams. He's been out for quite a while, unfortunately. And then these last three I picked up for my PC of my man crush here, Paul Goldschmidt. That's the uh, Panini. That's the back of that one there. Kind of the same picture as well on that. And then a Diamond Kings card. And then uh Topps Fire card. Thought this was a pretty cool looking card. All that all that gray and everything. Pretty cool looking. And then the last card here I wanted to show you guys is one that I bought on eBay. And I've been looking for this card for a long time. It was the last card I needed in my 71 set. And it was part of a three card variation. And that's why I needed this one as my last card. And it's one of the harder ones to find. And looked on eBay quite a bit. And the lowest I could find it was for $65. And I just was not going to pay that kind of money just for one card. And lo and behold, about a week ago, somebody listed the card for $16. And I thought maybe it was a fluke, but I started to put my bids in on it. And I won the bid, and it was for 16 bucks is all I paid for this card. So I was really happy to get it. But if you look closely at the helmets on all three of these, 
that's where the variation comes in because uh, on this particular helmet here you don't see any squiggly lines no lines above the ear and the helmet is a little oranger color whereas this one here see the squiggly line in the back and over the ear and in this card that I just bought you got the squiggly line in the front and the back and over the ears so just this one card had three variations for a 71 set and this right here definitely completes my 71 set base and all the variations so I was really happy to get that for just 16 bucks so anyways I uh, wanted to show off a few of those cards and I know a lot of folks went to the Nationals and uh, been watching a lot of videos on that and looks like it was a lot of a lot of fun great experience but uh, I appreciate you guys watching this when you get a chance and as always comment like and uh, I want to also remind you that in the next video I'm going to be doing will be for my 200 subscriber video so I'm up over 200 and I'll be doing a subscriber video probably in the next week or so so I appreciate you watching and as I always say collect like you're a kid